Hi and welcome. This is Damon Bruce and you're watching 2K Sports. Thursday hoops. It's the San Antonio Spurs going up against the Miami Heat. And that'll do it from the studio. Let's get you out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports broadcast crew at the arena. I'll see you back here at halftime. Getting mentally and physically ready. Hello and thanks for... And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. First for the Spurs. Parker and Danny Green are your one and your two. And in the middle, out of Brazil, taking with the 28th pick back in 2008, the 6'11 pivot man, Tiago Splitter. Then there's Kawhi Leonard, and it's Duncan in at the power forward. And then for the Miami Heat, Chalmers and D. Wade are the guards. We've got Allen. Each and every night, so important to utilize that size under the basket, and you know he'll be contributing in every way he can here tonight. Then there's Chris Bosch, and it's Haslam in at the fourth spot. Parker passes to Green. No good from outside. Boy, even though he missed, you can't give up that kind of a look very often. Yeah, they're lucky that they didn't get burned on that one. Boy, this is a neat story, guys. Danny Green was undrafted out of North Carolina. And another nice find for perhaps the best organization in all of sports, the San Antonio Spurs. He's an excellent three-point shooter, over 40% from three-point range for his career. He helps that team spread the floor, and that energizes their high-powered offense. And Green, nice versatility, too. Not just an outside shooter. No, he's an excellent defensive player. In fact, Greg Popovich calls upon him to often guard the opponent's best wing player. So uh, for Green, a two-way player, a guy who can get it done at both ends of the floor. So one for two that time at the strike. Guys, you go back to the shortened season a year before last, and the Spurs were the best team on the road. But last year, they weren't nearly as dominant on the road. Still solid when leaving San Antonio, but far from the level they played at a couple of seasons ago. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That's his first foul. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. And for the Spurs on the road last season, they would still win 23 games in hostile territory. And while that is more than the 22, Steve, they won in the shortened season, they also lost a, a fair amount more as well. Well, for the Spurs, Kevin, I think they did what they needed to do. You, you know, the Spurs manage the regular season. They know when to turn it on and when they can maybe relax a little bit. The big thing is they just want to stay near 500 on the road, protect their home court, and be healthy going into the playoffs, and that, that puts them in a good position. Parker gets to green. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Here's Haslam. It's hauled in by Duncan. Duncan's got his third rebound tonight. And San Antonio has possession. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Kevin, thank you. I caught up with Eric Spolstra. I asked him about how his team was going to handle the veterans of the Spurs, and he said there really isn't a whole lot that Duncan and them haven't seen, so you can't surprise them one way or another. Really, it comes down to us being as careful with the ball as they are and being efficient in our possessions. Sounds simple enough, gentlemen. Thanks again, Doris. Only three teams in the entire Eastern Conference had a better than 500 record against the West, and no surprise, the Heat were one of those three, and they were dominant against Western Conference opponents all year long. 